So if you're willing to put in that work, I promise you, you will start to develop a very good, consistent presentation, a very consistent index, and every time you present the gun, it'll be right where you're looking, the dot will be right where you want it to be, you'll be target focused, and then you can bring the gun up and break a shot the second you see that color. Hello everybody, Lauren Hawkinsmith here from Hold The Line Defense Solutions. Today I'm going to help you out with finding the dot. Now the first problem that everybody has with finding the dot is you shouldn't be looking for it, right? Uh, so you actually want to be target focused and have the dot come into your awareness. So let me tell you what I mean by that. Number one, we want to pick a small object that we're focused on hitting. So we're target focused. So if my um, target was the camera lens. I would stare at the camera lens and that would be where my focus is. And then the dot would come into my eye line, the line that's between where my target is and my eye, that eye line there. The dot is going to come up to that eye line and I'm going to be aware that the dot has arrived there, but my focus is going to remain on the target. So a lot of times what I'll see is when people are having trouble finding the dot, right, is they will do something like this. They'll bring the gun up and then they'll start doing this wrist thing where they're kind of looking all over for it. So in order to help you develop a good index and a good presentation where you're never looking for the dot ever again, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to give you permission for a short while of time to actually look for the dot and find it. So stare at what you want to hit. In this case, we're going to use the camera lens. So I'm going to stare at what I want to hit and I'm going to bring the gun up to my eye line. And as I presented, the, the dot is in my window and it's right where I want to, want to hit, okay? But let's say it's not there. So I present and it's over here to the left and I got to fish around for it. No problem for right now. Go ahead and fish around for that dot. But once you find it, start to feel what that, um, start to realize what that feels like to your body, right? You're going to develop a muscle memory and an index from that point. So once you have the dot where you want it, then here's what I want you to do. You're going to lower the gun so that the dot is no longer in your eye line. You can no longer see it, but you keep staring at what you want to hit. And then you bring it back up, down, back up, down, back up, down, back up and you do this repeatedly, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, until when you present, the dot is right where you're looking on that small, small target, okay? Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're into firearms training, we would love to have you join us for a class here at a range in the central Pennsylvania area. You can find out details about our upcoming classes by visiting our website at holdthelinedefensesolutions.com or to make it easy on you, you can simply type in htlds.com. In the great book, Luke 3.11 encouraged anyone that has two shirts to share with those that have none, and whoever has food is to do likewise. With that being said, we have made it part of our mission to feed the hungry and clothe the needy by donating a portion from every sale on our website. So if our values of faith, freedom, and family align with your values, feel free to visit our apparel store at holdthelinepatriotsassociation.com or again, to make it easy on you, you can simply type in htlpa.com and that'll take you to some great looking merchandise that you can wear proudly knowing that Hold the Line represents the values that you hold near and dear. Lastly, one of my favorite programs we offer is a men's ministry that we like to call Pancakes, Pistols, and Purpose. Simply put a group of guys together and come out to our range or give us a call and we will come to you for a day of good food, great firearms training, and we'll wrap up the day by diving into that age-old question of what is my purpose for being here. If you enjoy our videos, I'd be honored if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe. We would love to develop a relationship with you and create a community of like-minded people that share the same values. And now, back to the video. Once you get good at that, then we're going to, and, and it's, it's a key um, component here, it's very key that, that when you're doing this first part, they only lower the gun as much as it takes to get it out of your eye line and you can no longer see any red, right? Then you bring the gun back up, back down. And what we're doing is we're moving our shoulders. So the entire 
process here is once you get that grip and you present the target, you're only moving from your shoulders and, and you're not moving your wrist, right? Your wrist should be locked in place. Your elbows locked in place, right? And what you're moving is this entire structure here. It's going to move like this, right? So we're looking at that small spot. We bring the gun up to our eye line and everything moves down together, up together, down, up. And you're looking right where you want to hit. So whenever you get good at that and we can present the target and then we just move down, move back up, move down, move back up, down, back up. Then what we want to do is go ahead and search for the dot again. But you're going to search for the dot down here and we're going to get our perfect grip down here and we're going to find the dot and have everything perfect. Now we're going to look up at what we want to hit and now we're going to move the entire structure up to what we want to hit and right there the dot is on the camera lens. So we come down, find it again, I'll look up, bring the entire structure up and it's on what I want to hit. So we're just going to repeat this hundreds and hundreds of times. And what, I, what I'm encouraging you to do is take the next two weeks of your life, two weeks, and for only five to 10 minutes a day, this does not have to be this, um, you know, hours and hours long of practice. But um, if you'll take two weeks and for five to 10 minutes a day, you'll start here and you'll raise the gun up to your eye line, drop it down, raise it up to your eye line, drop it down. This will start to develop a muscle memory and a structure for you, a presentation and index where every time you bring the gun up, it's at the same spot. Once you get good at that, then I want you to find the dot with the perfect grip right here. You're going to look at what you want to hit and then you're going to raise the entire structure right up to what you want to hit. Okay. When you get good at that, step three, you're going to reverse engineer your draw. So you're going to put the, uh, the dot on what you want to hit and now we're going to reverse engineer everything. So the line of travel for my gun to get from the holster to here is we're going to start to reverse it. We're going to go backwards. I break my hands apart right about here. The gun goes into my holster and then back out. The gun comes out. I'm looking at what I want to hit. The muzzle goes down range. My hands join and it comes up to my eye line and right there's the dot. I'm going to slowly reverse engineer it. Put the gun away, gun comes out, muzzle goes down range, my hands join, comes up to my eye line, and it's, look, it, it's exactly landing on what I'm looking at. So number one, start by putting the gun in front of your eye, uh, get your perfect grip, find the dot, drop it down, come back up. Two, you're gonna find the dot down here with the perfect grip. You're gonna look at what you wanna hit and raise the entire structure. And then three, you're going to reverse engineer it. Couple little tips. One, you have to know what your eye dominance is. So in order to figure out what your dominant eye is, you can either do this in front of a mirror or have somebody go to the back of the room. But what you're going to do is create a small triangle like this right here, very small triangle. You're going to look at what you're focused on. Okay, so it, it could be somebody's nose if they're helping you out in the back of the room do this. Or you can just look at your own nose um, focus on your, your own nose in the mirror. But what you're going to do is you're going to bring your eyes or you're going to bring your, your hands up like this in front of your eye line. And you'll notice that I'm focused on the camera lens right now. And you can tell that I'm left eye dominant because you always bring when you're focused on something and your shoulders are square and your neck's aligned with it. When you do this small triangle that's only big enough for one eye to fit in the middle of, and you're looking at that object, you'll bring that up right in front of your dominant eye. And so you can clearly see I'm left eye dominant. So what that means is when I present the gun, you'll notice that I always present in front of my left eye, right? So what I tend to do is just tilt my chin just a tiny bit, probably about a half an inch, right? So I come over about a half an inch and then the gun comes in front of my left eye, like so. What a lot of people have the habit of doing when they present the gun is they present it in front of their nose. I don't even know if I can do it, but they present it 
instead of in front of their left eye or their dominant eye, they're presenting the gun in front of their nose. Nobody is nose dominant as far as sight, right? You're gonna be either left eye or right eye dominant. So if you're left eye dominant, but you're right-handed, simply just tilt your chin a little bit, bring the gun over a little bit, and that combination of tilting your chin and bringing the gun over will allow you to bring it right up where you're looking. If you're right eye dominant, you just reverse everything, right? So if you're right-handed, right eye dominant, I have to close my eye for this, but you're gonna present, well, that's over in front of my left eye. <laughs> you're gonna do it in front of the right eye here like this, and then you just do the whole process like that there and then you'd find it here. Look at what you wanna hit, bring the gun up, okay? You'd do that whole process, bringing the gun up in front of your dominant eye. Now I think, and I, I don't mean to ruffle any feathers here or, or make anybody mad at me, okay? But I think a lot of people say, eh, I'm gonna stick with the iron sights because you know I'm faster with iron sights. Well, what I think's going on is I think you're actually really inconsistent with your presentation and with your, um, with your index. But I think iron sights are a little more forgiving, right? So if I was to present this gun to camera, but I had the muzzle at a higher angle, so I was like this, what I can see there is I can see where the front sight is and then I level it off. And so if I was inconsistent and I drew up and I see the front sight, now I level it off and right there you can see I'm on target. The dot is unforgiving. What it means is it's going to make you become better by default. Like you're going to have to become better and more consistent at presenting a gun because if you don't, it's not forgiving. If I were to present the gun on target like this with my, my muzzle up that high so that the front sight is here and the rear sight's down here instead of equal height, right? Equal light. If you present the gun where the, the muzzle, the front sight's way up here and the rear sight's down here, this is gonna be forgiving to you, the iron sights, right? So you can go like that and then just correct it. But if you do that with the dot, you start to search all over the place. And so in classes all the time, I'll see people you know, kind of doing this and they're searching for it. What that tells me is they just haven't developed a really good index yet. So if you get pretty good at the, um, presenting the gun, you can present it every time. So right there you saw my presentation. I brought the gun up and it's exactly where I'm looking, even though it's iron. So I have equal height, equal light, and it's right on, uh, right on what I'm looking at. So a lot of people that say, eh, I'm just gonna stick with irons, what they're saying is I'm not willing to put in the work, um, or they might not realize they're saying this, but they're saying I'm not really willing to put in the work to have a very precise index, a very precise presentation. Because once you do and you put in the work, it's worth it because it arrives right where you want it to. And while iron sights are more forgiving, because if you present wrong, you can just adjust pretty quickly, wouldn't it just be better to put in a little bit of work so that every time you present, the dot is landing and arriving on exactly what you're presenting to. So, last thing. Once you get good at presenting the gun to what you're looking at and having um, the dot arrive on what you're looking at, then I'm gonna encourage you to do what's called dot occlusion. So if you look here, you can clearly see that on my one Walther here, you can see right through the lens, right through the optic lens there. And on this one, you cannot, it's blacked out. So I have a casing on this one that, that is what's called dot occlusion. It blacks out the front of the lens where if I am dot focused instead of target focused, all I'm gonna see is the dot and black, complete blackness, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're target focused. And as you are and you present the gun, one eye is gonna see the target, the other eye is gonna see your dot. And what your brain does is it puts the two images together. So the one sees the target, the other sees the dot and it merges the two images together and you will see the dot over what it is you're looking at. Easy way to do this, grab some masking tape or some uh, painter's tape, even better. Just put some painter's tape over the front um, of your optic so that you cannot no longer see through the front of it. And then just practice presenting, right? And so right there you can tell I'm presenting still straight to where I'm looking 
and the dot is arriving on what it is I'm looking at every single time. And this will help you to develop more of a target focus. And if you are cheating and you're looking at the dot, when you present, all you're gonna see is the dot and blackness, right? You won't see anything else. So I'm hoping this helps you guys. Uh, I'm not trying to pick on anybody with the whole iron sight thing, but I've just, I've heard it in so many classes. So many people write off the dot so quickly and what they're telling me typically is I haven't put in the work or I don't know how to put in the work to achieve the results I do and I can quickly adjust my irons to get them on sight. Well, imagine if every time you drew your gun, um, your iron sights were lined up perfectly. Well, if you can do that where every time you draw your gun, your, your iron sights are lined up perfectly like that, you can do that with a dot. But I have a feeling that um, you're making micro adjustments with irons. You're not drawing to a perfect sight picture. So you're probably drawing something like this and then adjusting quickly. You're drawing to something like that and adjusting quickly. And you're going to keep doing these micro adjustments and you're always inconsistent, but you're able to adjust quickly because you can see the front and rear sight because the dot is so inconsistent or so consistent and makes you makes you be so consistent with it and and is so unforgiving. That was the word I was looking for. Unforgiving. Um, you're going to have to develop a perfect index, or whenever you present, it's not going to be there. Okay. But every time, I'm telling you, if you take five to 10 minutes a day for two weeks, when you present the gun, the dot will land on exactly what you're looking at. And boy, does that speed up everything in your life when you're shooting. If you could draw and have every single presentation land exactly where you're looking, that's going to speed up your game a lot, okay? And make you that much more efficient. And so here's what I'm saying. If you're one of those people that said, I'm going to, stick with irons, do me this favor. For two weeks, can you be consistent and committed for two weeks, every day, five minutes to 10 minutes a day, and we're going to just start out real simple. You can take all the time you need to find the dot, right? But once you find it, you're gonna lower it out of your vision, lower it back up to what you're looking at. Out of your vision, back up to what you're looking at. Out of your vision, back up to what you're looking at. Then you're going to find the dot down here, Okay. Once you do, you're going to stare at what you want to hit. You're going to bring the gun up to your eye line by moving your shoulders in the entire structure, right? It arrives at your eye line by moving everything. Then I want you to reverse engineer your draw, right? So we're going to come back, separate the hands, muzzle goes down, muzzle comes, gun comes up, muzzle comes out, hands join, bring the gun up, right? So if you're willing to put in that work, I promise you, you will start to develop a very good, consistent presentation, a very consistent index. And every time you present the gun, it'll be right where you're looking. The dot will be right where you want it to be. You'll be target focused, and then you can bring the gun up and break a shot the second you see that color. And you will develop that consistency and that muscle memory that will allow you to achieve what you want to achieve. So, Hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you would, please, I would love for you to like and comment and share this video, but also if you could subscribe to the channel, I would be greatly appreciative of that. We are looking to grow a community of like-minded, like-valued people um, that enjoy this content. So thank you so much for checking out this video and uh, we'll see you on the range really soon. Have a great day.